so welcome to the spoilers discussion of Jungle Cruise. Uh, just a, it's going to be a shorter spoiler discussion because there's not a whole lot of spoilers, but you gave it a 6.5. I gave it a 6 out of 10. You gave it an 8 out of 10. I said a lot of my problems contained in the spoilers, so here we go. So you want to talk about one big spoiler? Uh, well, I mean, the big spoiler for me is just like the whole storyline with that, the tree with the eternal life, basically like the immunity to any kind of <clears throat> illness or sickness. And just The Rock um, giving his life at the end. And there's a lot of emotion there invested between those characters. I mean, they did do a good job of creating the tension between Emily Blunt and The Rock. And then it did yep. pay off. So there was, I definitely bought that. Um, but as far as the, then I guess the big spoiler is like, you think he dies, but then she uses the last pedal for him. And then that's the end. Well, big so, spoiler is the fact that The Rock is like 300 years old. Right. And so he's, there's he's, this whole storyline. It's kind of confusing, but... And for He's, a Disney movie, it's a lot. I mean, I, I understood as a kid. I don't know how many kids are gonna follow that whole like. You, you see the beginning scene with the story, like the the myth of those. I forget what they called those guys, but the ones that were like investigating for this tree and they found it and there was like the yeah. killing and they kind of created the villains in the film. And they were cool as far as they the guy. Cool the one moments. guy was like snakes, and the other guy yeah. was like a beehive, and then what was the other guy was? Vine. I don't know what it was. Yeah, he was vines, maybe. Was, what it was. I wish they would have done more like each guy like an animal. Those they, were they, cool. They didn't really use those skills. Like they didn't really use the bees. You know, there's just stuff that I thought like they could have done better with those characters, but it was still pretty cool. Um, but I guess should we get into our like specifics? Is, is there a big spoiler or... that you wanted to talk about? No, I, I think too. Like Kenny actually brought up the only thing I was really thinking about was the age of the rock character, Frank Maybe Wolf, calling the name? Skipper yeah. or Skippy. Uh, to annoy him break. but I, you know the age of the guy for me like the fantasy of the movie is the key you have to know going into this that this is fantasy obviously um i i enjoyed that fact in relating to the ride itself you know you just realize yeah. that's the ride you're on but i do think um you know besides him being that old and really not being What's able this? to be killed um until you know he got to a certain what point where you know he, he didn't want to be alive anymore until he met her but yeah. Other than that, it's, you know, the characters, I think, too, like they said to me, the guys that got caught into the vines, um, and I assume, if I remember the movie right, they couldn't get away from the river was the problem. Yeah, they had to stay the, within a the certain tribe. Room. Yeah, and basically, I, I thought they could have gone into more of each character's um, different strengths. Like, one was bees and honey, the other one was vines. I mean, one with snakes. They did. Snakes. It did give a good reason for as to why he was going to murder that tribe for the pedal because it was for his do his dying daughter. So like, yeah. they did buy into that at least. Which yeah. so that was a good aspect. Yeah. So they it. were bad guys, but uh, to me, it, at the beginning, that's a good cause. So I just it's you know something like that could turn you um, a different way. And the main ne uh, negative I had and biggest spoiler was that the main tribe of uh, head shrinking people, you know, Trader Sam. Trader Sam. Trader Sam and Aunt, Aunt Sam. Well, yeah, Trader Sam on the ride is like this person that has uh, a bunch of shrunken heads, and there's always a joke that he'll take, take three, one. Three of your, three of, he's giving away three heads for one of yours. Yeah, and it's always the, it's the classic thing on the ride. I mean, that is just so classic. I mean, so iconic. And the whole tribe aspect on the ride is so classic. Yeah. And the this ride, they make them good, which like it's, just, yeah. it's just so simple. It's like, just have the ride... And have that be like how it is, but of course they change it. They make them good. That peed me yeah, off. That took off at least a few points. Yeah, they make them good. And the bigger thing for me was that they. I and mean, once again, this is just a very small aspect of the film. But when you just do this just out of nowhere, it just it sticks out really bad for people that have ridden the ride. But the gender swap, the character too, at the same time is like it's just a, such a Disney move. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's like just why why do that? If you're already gonna screw the that that part of it by saying that they're, that they're good at least stay loyal to the characters and what the ride is I mean, the ride only has a few aspects to it so to not yeah. follow it to a t was kind of frustrating so that was definitely a negative for me the big problem with it was it was also because they do a lot of like you think something's happening and it's not you think something's happening and it's not they pulled back the curtain like way too many times in a row in my opinion Just remember the What's jaguar you think is real well, yeah. and it's his pet then they do something else. You think it's true? It's not. And then they do this tribe catch something and it's not. It's like that happened too many times. Yeah. And I think they should have just taken one of those out. And that's where it ended up being too long. Like there's way too many threats that aren't threats. And then it just gets to the point where 
that went a little too far. Yeah, I think a, a, another specific positive for me that I, I, I thought about when you mentioned the, the Jaguar. Well, I said the CGI for him didn't w really work for me the greatest. I did actually like one aspect of him being so old that he was able to raise lost uh, uh, young of animals. Yeah. Like you saw pictures of him raising like a, a wolf. mountain lion, a wolf, I think like a jaguar. There's one other thing. I can't remember what it was. Black but that was Panther kind of a cool thing. idea to show you has actually done this over time because he's been alive for what, 400 years, 300 years. So that was kind of cool. So I did like that part of it. And once again, I, I, I like all the animals that, that you saw, like those river dolphins, um, the snake you saw. Like I said, I think there, there was not enough animals when you, like, I wanted to say elephants. I wanted to see, I, once again, I'm thinking about the ride exactly. I wanted to see like going through like a cave with spiders, snakes. Uh, what the else? puzzles Crocodiles, were all cool. hippo, Hippos. That's a big one. That's my favorite animal as a kid watching on that ride, seeing those hippos by the boat. Classic. They made a good reference to that by saying there's no hippos in the jungle. But still, like it's a fantasy. The guy's four hundred years old. You can throw in hippos in the um, in the movie. Yeah, I think the one part I don't know if you want to comment on this is when they get to the final point in the water. They eventually hit or turn something where the water starts sinking. Yeah. It starts revealing all like the hidden stuff. I thought that was a really cool. That scene. was a good tense scene. And that was really like the scene was cool. Within how it was like revealing all the stuff, and then the actual tree. I thought it was cool. But do you have? Any no, I, I enjoyed that part of it as well. Uh, all the, you know, not, you know, not knowing what to expect of what's coming. Um, you know, all the different variety of things that can happen, uh, especially down what, you know, is the Amazon. I mean, I can only imagine we've never seen it in person, but I'm sure, you know, it's just loaded with all kind of uh, neat, you know, surprises to find. And uh you had piranhas in that movie, which you know, yeah. was a nice twist. And then there's actually one scene I wanted to bring up about spoilers is what the main villain and his encounter with a couple bees. Yeah, that was a great scene. <laughs> he's looking at a map and uh, <laughs> a few bees flying. And at first he's like freaked out by him, but then they start talking, you know. Well, no, no, and uh, it's the beehive like... guy sent the bees to send a message and the bees were like walking around on the map pointing to areas. And he's, like, there, there was multiple good moments with, with the bees. Like the first one where he, he like, so like wait that, that that is the place and they were like going up and down or side to side and his yeah. two crew members were like is he is he talking to bees because he has no idea like that he's those guys are actually like part of the those like five hundred year five hundred years old guys but that was definitely a hilarious scene and then when they actually gave where the I guess where the the temple was he just started to smash them really quick so they couldn't get out uh, so yeah well, there was that's... some good. He didn't want them that. to take back information, right? He just didn't want because at that point he basically used them to find where it was. He didn't need them anymore. Yeah. Where, yeah. yeah, well, they, they, there was the backside of water mm -hmm. scene that was funny. There was the fake hippo. There was the corny jokes from the rock that I thought was funny. They had to include yeah. that. That was great respect to the ride. Chew can play. They they did the great respect to the ride there, just not in other aspects. I wish they just would have carried that through, but I really like that. Uh, but that was the main spoilers, I think. There's some great lines, and The Rock, once again, does a great job, and it's definitely the main draw for me going to the movie and just the fact that we've ridden the ride. But if you hadn't ridden the ride, maybe you'll go into it and have no idea what the movie is and enjoy a lot more than I did. No, I, I, I don't want to seem like I didn't like the ride. I just said it was not one of my favorites. Well, no, no, that's all right. We, we know you don't like the ride. Right, so yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. No, I'm so surprised Kenny said he loved the ride. And I, it, no. I love Jungle okay. Cruise. It is a classic. It's definitely not one that I would rush to to get on for the first ride of the day that we've done a couple okay. times. May, maybe, I don't know. I've got to say, there's certain aspects I love about the ride. I, I mean, mean th I think it. a lot of it has to do, a lot of the Disney rides honestly have to do with childhood memories. And that just really... Well, just, I, 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 I really for an asset, I treasure like I treasure a lot of memories on that ride. This like the attention to detail of the ride more than anything i think if you maybe if you cut the voice out of the bad jokes yeah. and all the bull crap i might enjoy that ride even more imagine if they made a, a rock animatronic that was driving each boat and was like turning around would make i mean yeah it'd be the same comment each time but at least it would be more although like it would be turned into the scorpion king there is one more thing though. They do show a scene of a spider and scorpion fighting, which I liked. I still wish scorpion, there would have been. It was a, a scene... scorpion king re reference. Nah, yeah, but I still mm -hmm. wish there would have been a spider in a cage that someone tried to touch. Because in the ride, if you know, and you're waiting in line. At least the spider used to. There's a spider in a cage, and if you walk near it, it would like jump and it would scare people to death in the line. And I liked how they mentioned the spider. I still would have liked to see in the cage. When they but... found that one book, they should have had a line saying, who cares about a book? Where the heck's the treasure? Thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.